Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. So day 10 takes us to the 26th of September and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Accenture Affairs and ECM ensembles. They are running to around a couple of weeks. Of course, we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. But the next four weeks gets us uh, into the middle part of October now, more or less. And I'll get time back for you. In a moment, just say that first, a video series of 6 UK weather forecasts. We've just released the EC uh, 38 as well. Check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. The gas weather video. Thank you so much, everyone. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, well, the gas weather is 2026. Calendar is selling like hot cake. Thank you so much, everyone, who has brought a calendar. Uh, so far, we've still got plenty of calendars to sell though. So, if you'd like to snap up a gas worthy's calendar, all you need to do is come to our PayPal page. The link is in the description with video. Sign into your PayPal account, send £13 one free to gas worthy's, and uh, we shall get your calendar out to you. Be a nice stocking filler, I think, for uh, <laughs> for uh, for Christmas. For Christmas. So, uh, yeah, you know, thanks so much, everybody. Embracing a project. It's been absolutely amazing uh, to work on. Um, we've sold lots of calendars so far. Still plenty to sell, though. So, um, well, fill your boots and uh, snap up a gas where it's 2026 calendar. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, into the tropical, subtropical Atlantic 2 interest areas. A red X and a yellow X. Dealing with yellow X, first of all. So, that is disturbance. Two, with just a 20% chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. Don't have to worry too much about that at this stage. But we've also got Disturbance 1 with a 90% chance of cyclone formation in the next two days. So I think that's going to pop imminently. And uh, that's going to be our next tropical storm and or hurricane. We will keep you updated. Latest one from Earth from EarthNoSchool.net. So we've got deep area of low pressure to the west of the UK and Ireland at the moment, bringing potentially an active weather system from off the Atlantic that could uh, have a lot of heavy rain and some strong winds associated uh, with it. Well, it will do, actually, not caught. Cool, it will do. <laughs> Overnight, we're turning very wet, especially for Ireland, England, where it's a little bit less so, though, uh, for Scotland. The wet September continues. Central England temperature is currently sitting at 15.1. That is 1.6 degree above the 61 to 1990 average, and it's provisional to uh, yesterday to the 15th of September. So, up to mid-month, and uh, we're around 15 uh, degrees, about 1.5 degrees above the uh, 61 to 99 temperature average. Right, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles, and it comes with commentary today. So the red line is a 30-year upper air temperature actual commentary. It's only up a bit below average at the moment. They're going to get a boost over the uh, next couple of days, though, becoming quite warm through the uh, middle part of the week and into the last part of the week. But they then dropping into the uh, weekend and actually turning quite cool over weekend and lasting into uh, next week as well. Precipitation wise, so here's the wet weather associated with below that's coming in tonight and tomorrow. That brings quite a bit of heavy rain with it. There could be more wet weather later on in the week and even into the closing days of September. We see further precipitation spikes there. Temperature anomalies for the next five days up to the 21st of September. Above average for England and Wales, a bit below for Scotland, 10 to 14 days. Going below average, right? especially so in more southern regions. <coughs> So, sorry, everyone. Uh, precipitation anomaly set seven days, a bit drier than average west of Scotland and the south coast, but in between, a swathe of wetter than average condition. Right, let's start going for chart data then. Miss Abelacious UK Mate Euro Run is, look, is looking big night on uh, Friday. So, we're trying to draw up some very warm or even quite hot air from the south, but also have cool air trying to dig in from the north. And in between, there's going to be a weather system that could bring quite a lot of rain over the uh, weekend. And that rain particularly focused 
probably anyway, uh, for England and Wales as this ridge builds out to the northwest. The general trend will be to shift that low pressure weight of the Bay of Biscay, dropping the ridge, and so it will be turning drier for the weekend into next week, but possibly a bit on the chilly side with winds coming in from more of an east or a northeasterly direction. Icon looks like this again. We've got that trough pushing through over the weekend. Could be a lot of heavy rain with it, and then when that gets out of where we open the door to those north and northeast winds as high pressure slips down across the country, it becomes mostly dry into the early part of next week, but it could be quite chilly, especially so in central and northern regions with light winds. I think that could be a recipe for some early season ground frost up in the north. What about the KMA? Well, again, that's showing low pressure uh, developing to our south and southwest over weekend could bring a soaker uh, for the weekend to England Wales probably dry though or mostly dry for Scotland into next week low pressure meandering around not really going anywhere fast that's how we end up by the 28th of September a ridge out to the west extending in bringing a lot of dry weather could be a little bit chilly. Note there is what looks suspiciously like a hurricane to the uh, west southwest of the Azores there. Okay, GFS midnight run once more. We've got that to contrasting temperatures at the end of the week. Very warm air trying to move up from the south. Oops, what's happened there? Very warm air trying to move up from uh, the south. Cool air digging in to the north and in between weather, uh, well, weather system or weather front could bring quite a lot of heavy rain. The map carries on through the weekend, develops into an area of low pressure, sat into sunny. So it could sound really wet actually this weekend. Definitely one to watch. Eventually that low will move away to the east by the beginning of next week. We'll open the door to drier but also cooler or colder north or northeasterly winds with a ridge there through the west of Europe temporarily but by day 10 the next low starting to move in from off the Atlantic. Note by then we've got a little bit of a blocking, a little bit of a normal blocking signal uh, towards Greenland and Iceland. Again, we've got the remains of that tropical storm, tropical storm and or hurricane in the North Atlantic. Well, that looks thoroughly wet and autumnal on the 27th of September, just beyond day 10. Low pressure sitting in the English Channel, so a chilly or quite cold east to northeast wind, and no doubt a lot of heavy rain as well. This is a very different September, isn't it? Well, beyond that, come to months ending to the beginning of October, a little bit of ridging taking place, but I think that's quite a cool ridge, actually, and it could bring some chilly nights. So, GFS 6 then, in comparison, again, we draw down that cool north to northeasterly uh, wind. There's a weather system through here, bringing a lot of heavy rain in with it. As that clears out of the way, we'll open the door to the north of the northeasterlies. So, uh, rather chilly there as we get through to the beginning of next week under this ridge of high pressure. That could be a recipe even for some air frost for the north. And even in the south, I reckon that's going to be quite chilly. So, that will help to pull the uh, central in temperature for the month overall down even more. Well, we get through to the end of September and the start of October and we begin to draw in something warmer again from the southwest. So temperatures lifting back up once more. That's how we look when we get to the end of GFS 6 said. Uh, I have to say that's a classic warm, dry October type pattern actually after a wet September. We've got a nice ridge there, low pressure project stream being shoved off up to the north. Hmm, cool, well, coolish and wet September and a warm, dry October. Well, start to it anyway. I wonder. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this sound, all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gas Weathers and get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Okay, so what are we doing there? Alright, uh, that one's go there, doesn't it? Okay, GM, again, with uh, low pressure pushing through over the weekend, could bring a soaker 
particularly to the south and to the southwest. But early next week, high pressure builds down from the north, mainly dry, but a little bit chilly over that area of high pressure. But days 8, 9, 10, we start to bring layer pressure in from off the Atlantic. That could have quite a bit of wet weather coming in with it. And then the ECM rounding it all off again. We've got that big contrast in temperatures through the uh, weekend with a weather system doing something like that. Very warm air being drawn up from the south. Uh, cool, chilly air from the north and a set of contrasting temperatures in between. Well, low pressure sitting just to the southwest on Sunday, bringing potentially some very wet weather across England and Wales. That gets out of way early next week and down comes this chilly north or northeasterly wind. And that's the setup at day 10, June the 26th of September. Low pressure south, high pressure is to the north, looking quite cool and wet, I think, there, particularly for the south again. Looks like a hurricane just to the northwest of the Azores. But in the extended, high pressure builds quite nicely with this ECM run, but I think that's quite a chilly ridge. So, um, you know, probably pleasant by day, but by night it could be a bit cold, especially so in the north, maybe with some flashes and touches of ground frost. Uh, this is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibetan.com. Plenty of rain overnight tonight and lasting into tomorrow uh, as well. Uh, then into the end of the week, we've got all of this rain piling in from the Atlantic. A swathe of wet weather gets going through northern England, Wales and out towards Ireland. Bringing persistent and heavy rain through there. Much of England where it's getting wet weather though through the weekend to the start of but next week. Especially folks on the south and north gets the driest weather. And even up to the 24th of September, low pressure sitting just sitting just to ourselves. Again, potentially bringing quite a lot of heavy rain across England and Wales with it. In particular, that's a setup at day 10. Pressure starting to rise a bit by then, so beginning to lose the wettest of the weather. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to 26th of September. 13 members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure towards Scandinavia. Winds coming in uh, from the east. A lot of dry weather with that, uh, but it uh, could be a bit of a cool side. We've got, uh, let's get rid of that line. We've got 11 just here, still bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic. A further 11 with low pressure uh, generally close to the country, a bit of blocking up to the north as well. We've got 10 with low pressure in from the Atlantic, high pressure towards the northeast. Winds coming up, some of the south east throw. And then finally, we've got 6 with some blocking around Greenland, Iceland, and a trough through the north and the west of Europe. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. So, most options still look unsettled at day 10, though. But in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Next to the 1st of October, 26 members of the ECM ensembles with a nice ridge, actually, over sorry, to the north country. Mainly dry, but could be a bit chilly. With that, winds coming in from more of a northeasterly uh, direction there. And we've got 25 with low pressure over country combined with normal blocking. So it's basically a 50-50 split, whether we're going to be settled or unsettled for the start of October. Both options, though, I think actually could be uh, a little bit on the cool side there. So watch this space. Right, CFS finally, and then we're done. These are 500 middle bar height anomalies. So break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 16th, 22nd of September. Next week, we have low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. High pressure down across southern parts of Europe. Looks quite unsettled in the week here. Week 2 will be the 23rd to 29th of September. So we've got some blocking around Iceland and Greenland trying to build down into West Europe. Low pressure there and there. That could be a drier but cooler or, or a chillier week. Uh, week three will be the... Um, uh, what's that going to be? No, hang on. Let's move that over there. Week three. Three will be the 3rd of September, 6th of October. Low pressure is in control. Looks unsettled. I mean, just seen it. Week four will be... The cat was out of the bag. <laughs> will be the 7th to the 13th of October with a trial sitting right over the top of the coach sheet. That looks like a very wet second week to October, I have to say. And they're probably quite cool with that as well. But uh, we shall see. Long way off.
that's like time will tell. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please do uh, like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, and if you do sub, make sure you ding the bell and you'll be notified when we're releasing our content, live streaming, etc, etc, etc. Tomorrow we're gonna six, we don't have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And there will be a 10 to 14 day as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. This one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and bye for now.